What is going on, everybody? Back again for another edition of On the Road to Victory. I'm your host, Jimmy Smith, and I appreciate you taking the time on this beautiful hump day. And we bring some good news, not just the bad news that will be coming your way. Uh, just made a video a little bit ago, talked about Limbell Joseph. We're going to go through all these moves, individually talk about them. But one of the moves we talked about yesterday was likely to happen was Tyree Jackson being activated off of the pup list. We know that his 21-day window was coming to a close. The season was either over or he was coming back. So great news with everything that's going on with Dallas Goddard, and we will get into that as well. But it's unfortunate, but this kid, a lot of talent, was really looking good last year. We talked about coming into this year with this injury, when he would get healthy midway through, hopefully get him back. I was hoping to see what he could do with Dallas Goddard still in the lineup, but hey, it is what it is. We need help. And here it is. So 6'7", 249 pounds, coming into his third year, 25 years old. He was undrafted by the Buffalo Bills, actually. He came out of the University of Buffalo. Uh, but look, this dude, he's got a lot of talent, but he transitioned from quarterback to tight end. So he's got some work to do. But I'll be real with you. I, I really get excited talking about Tyree Jackson. Now, his stats aren't going to jump off the page at you here. He only he actually did start a few games because of injuries. But, you know, it. Again, he is definitely in progress right now. He is developing as we speak. So we just got to hope that he is healthy enough to get some reps in. And hopefully, you know, we can get him acclimated with this offense because we obviously need this young man's help. And he brings a lot of talent to the table. So I, I love the fact that he's back. But I've seen some things about, you know, oh, well, he's just going to replace Dallas Goddard. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here, ladies and gentlemen. Um he is more of an F-type tight end right now, a receiving-type tight end, whereas, you know, Dallas Goddard's your Y tight end. He's your tight end one. He can do it all, block, receive, everything. This guy he needs to work on his blocking a little bit, but I've got faith in him and actually looked pretty good for a guy that just was a quarterback. So I really loved what I saw last year in training camp. I want to see him hopefully throw it into the fire here and do some special things. But, uh, yeah, as I mentioned, we need it. So let's take a look at the updated depth chart. Because of the fact that Dallas Goddard is on IR, that video will be posted, so go check that one out. But he is on IR. He will at least miss four weeks. Thankfully, it's not the whole season, but an unfortunate loss. Now, you see the tight end room there. You've got Jack Stoll, Grant Calcaterra, and Tyree Jackson. I don't know if the Eagles want to sign somebody else. Maybe they just elevate Noah Togiai on game day. But regardless, you've got three tight ends right here. So you're going to have to do what you can. I am very excited, though, to have Tyree Jackson back. You know I've been trying to keep you up to date as much as I can with his injury status. So glad to have him back. Hopefully he can do some work here. But let me know down in the comments below, how do you feel about Tyree Jackson being back? It's an unfortunate loss with Dallas Goddard, but at least we get this young man back. I know a lot of people don't like him, but would love to hear your thoughts either way. Let me know what you think he can do for this offense, but I'll be back with some more news. And until then... This is On the Road to Victory, and I am Jimmy Smith. You all stay safe out there, and as always, Go Birds!